Hello, I'm Deborah from Deborah Dell's Craft Room. Today we're going to be painting an Easter Bunny on a big pear gourd. The colors we'll be using for this for this project are Americana acrylic paints by DecoArt, and they are lamp black, light buttermilk. Driftwood, lavender, lilac, graphite, blush pink, and dioxazine purple. This is a fun project and let's get started. Okay, this is the gourd that I'm going to paint the bunny on. The only clay pieces I'm adding to this one are uh, the ears. So, Gonna have to cut the stem off because it's too long. Okay. And I'm going to make the ears and get them right in the oven. Okay. I pulled a piece of clay off my brick of Sculpey and I warmed it all up and I split it in half and I have two balls that are pretty close to the same size. Now I'm going to make ears out of them. Take the ball and you roll it like a snake and then you push on one end so that it comes to a point. And do it a little more. And then you flatten it out. And I like to flatten the bottom so that it sits on the gourd all right. I like the size of this one. Now I have to make another one the same size. Okay. Now I'm going to put them on the gourd for a second to make the bottom the shape of the gourd. Find the front. Okay. There's one. I'm narrowing the bottom. It was a little too wide. It looked more like really long cat ears than, than uh, rabbit ears. So here we go. Okay, now put two of them on like this. Yeah, they're okay. Might be too big, but sometimes that's fun. Having big ears on things. Okay. Now, the toothpick. I'm going to put both of them on the same 
toothpick. When you're making a whole bunch of them and you put them both on the same toothpick, the matching ones, that way you don't have to uh, search around for which ones go together when you uh, are selecting the ears. Okay, I'm also going to bend the ear like I did for the other little bunny. And you put them in a glass pan. That's how you bake them in a glass pan. I don't think I mentioned that, but it is on the instructions. Okay. Okay, so in the oven it goes 275 degrees for between 12 and 15 minutes. Since nothing has to be baked on the gourd this time, I'm going to paint it while the ears are baking. I'm going to put a mark on the on the um, the stem so I don't lose front on this one. Okay, I marked the front of the gourd. It's right here so that uh, I know where the front is. Now I'm gonna paint the entire gourd driftwood. It's gray, but it's a little different color than the other one that I painted. So I'm going to, this has got a little more of a brown tone in it. And I like it, so make sure you don't paint the stem because it, uh, it has that mark on it. You can paint that at the end when you're touching up things. Or once you get the face on, you can paint the stem if you want. Because then you'll know where the front is. Okay, I have the top part of this coated twice, and the bottom is only coated once, but I'm going to, I have to wait for this top to dry completely before I do the bottom. The first coat dries in a second, but the second coat takes a little longer. So now I'm going to cut out a template for the arm, and I think I'm going to do one for a bow tie too. Instead of messing around with a bow tie, I'm going to just cut one. Okay. We'll see how this works out. I never know if it's going to be right or wrong, but we'll see in a minute. see where's the front okay here's the front that's gigantic Let's try again Still too big. Okay. There we go. Here's the here's the template. This is gonna be the shoulder. This is gonna be the paw. Okay, now I'm going to cut the I'm gonna cut the bow tie. I'm gonna cut one half of it.
And then I have half of it cut. I'm going to fold it in half on the, in the center of the of the knot, and then cut the rest cut the rest of it out. Okay, here we go. The bow tie. It's going to go right in the front, of course. You'll have to put the face on before the bow tie, though, so that you uh, you can tell where, it, you know, so there's enough room for the face always. Okay, so we have that, and put these off to the side. Okay, while the board is drying, I'm going to work on the ears. Okay. I'm going to paint them driftwood. on the bunny again. It seems dry enough. So, first thing is I'm going to draw the face on this bunny so we know where to put the um, bow tie. And I'm going to draw two circles. Here's the front. Right here is the center. And I'm going to draw two circles. Just like the circles, like clay circles, I put on the other, the other bunny. Let's see. Okay, one. Okay, now what I'm going to do is draw the nose, and the nose is going to come down into the, into the m muzzle there. So I'm going to draw two lines, and I'll show you in just one second. See those two lines there? The triangle lines. And then I think I'm going to make a little heart-shaped nose. Okay, let's see. What do we think of that? We'll have to take out that that uh, pencil mark to see how it's going to look, for sure. Okay. I think that looks all right. I'm going to take out the excess pencil here on the muzzles too, and then. Of course, there's the mouth. You don't have to draw the teeth in the mouth. You can just paint those in after, after it's painted, after the mouth is painted. Okay. There we go. And then there's the eyes, which are going to be a little bit apart this time because that heart makes it so that uh, you can't really put it to put them together. Okay. There you go. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. We can adjust those eyes, the size of those eyes when we're painting too, if they're not exactly right. 
Sometimes you can't see there's a problem until it's painted. Okay, there we have it. Bunny face is on. I'm not going to paint it yet. I'm going to paint, or I'm going to trace the, uh, the bow tie. Set it right in the center. Hold on tight. Okay. I'm sorry I can't do this with with a camera pointing at it, but I'll show you in just a second. Okay, now all right, there's the bow tie. I hope it's straight up and down, or straight side to side. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Now what we're gonna do with this uh, bunny is we're gonna put a belly on him. A fluffy belly. So I'm gonna start over here and draw sort of an oval. Try to start at the same place on each side, which I probably never do, but no, I didn't, but that's okay because I can adjust it. Okay, and then bring it down. Hang on, I'll show you. There we go. A bunny belly. Looks pretty good. Make sure it's even, the same distance from the center on each side. Let me check. Looks pretty good. This is a little crooked. And you're going to, I should have done this before, I'm going to cut out some feet forgot about the feet. Making a template for feet. It's going to look like a big footprint. Big foot footprint. This is kind of funny. I, I cut it out wrong, but I think it's cute. Okay, got a little toe here. And then, well, I'll show you in a second. And thankfully, you can just flip this over to draw the second one because making two of these would be pretty hard. Okay. There we go. And what we'll do, I'm going to draw it in to show you. We will put a little pad on it. Like this. So it looks like you're looking at the bottom of his foot. And we'll put it here, like this. And won't that be the cutest little thing you ever saw? Okay. You might not have room for a basket with a big foot like that. Okay. I'm going to put the arm like that. Maybe a little farther in. Not sure. Okay. Alrighty, I'm going.
going to draw this in now. Okay, there's one arm. Now the other. It's going to be a little bit hard to put them in the same spot, but you pick a point and try to make that work at that point. And I'm seeing the point between the bow tie, bow tie and the arm, and the bow tie and the arm. We have to make those match. Let's see what we got here. A little bit higher. A little bit back. Okay, I think I have it. He's all drawn. Oh no, feet. Because we don't want to do the belly until the feet are in the, and the drawing is all done. Because uh, you don't paint the belly on top of these other marks. And the belly is going to leave a little texture. And we won't be able to paint flat over it. Okay. There's one, one foot. Flip it over. sure hope that this works out. Okay. Ta-da! Feet, arms, bow tie, all of it. Except for the tail. I'm going to leave the tail off till later because if I'm holding the back of the gourd, I don't want it to get all smudged up because I'm going to draw that on too. Now I will erase the uh, extra lines. Makes it easier to paint. I think I'm going to use it, make an oval too for the pads of the feet so that they are equal also. Very symmetrical. So, of course, you can, you can make them asymmetrical if you want. There we go. What a thing of beauty. Cuter than a bug's ear. All right. Now we're going to start painting. Okay. Decisions, decisions now. I'm going to pounce the belly on. And what I'm going to do is hold a template up near the spot where I'm pouncing. And let me see what we got here. Okay, you get a brush that's got a blown out end like that to do the pouncing. And then I'm putting the, the bow tie up here 
in the hand. I'm going to try to hold both of them. And I'm going to dip my brush in the paint and then go like this. You want it to go over the edge of the outside a little bit, but not into the bow tie. Okay, I think I will do this bow tie all the way across. Okay. how you do uh, one of those beards on my Santa, the pouncing. Okay. Now I'm going to move this to the other side. No, can't do that now. Got to dry it off first because it's got uh, paint on it. Where's my washcloth? Here it is. Here's this, and here's this. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'll hold it down with my pinky. Okay. Now I can remove the bow tie. That looks all right. And then it's not too, too rough so that it is going to, when I touch it up, it'll be fine. It won't be, it won't be bad. Okay, now here we go with this. down. If you want to, you don't have to pounce. You can just paint it flat on. And that way you don't have to hold on to these templates. Okay. There we go. Now, the feet. Now again, it's okay if it comes over the edge of the belly a little bit onto the body, but there we go. Keep going. Here we go. Go around. Okay, that's good. And Alrighty. Now, if it's come up onto the toe like this or anything, there's a big lump, just move it out with your finger. Because, you know, of course, the gray will cover. Okay, now I'm going to go along the bottom. Pouncing. Now we're going to we're going to do a like a second coat to make it a little whiter, but um, when you, when we do, you don't have to go way up to the edge like you did and put those pieces back on. You don't have to do that because we can just you know kind of pop them around a little, leave it dark, 
leave it a little dark near the hands. Like it'll look like it's shaded. Okay. After you get the second coat on, you let it dry, and then you look for thin spots. And you can pounce more into the thin spot if you think it needs it. If you want to, you can touch up the uh, edges of the feet and hands and the bow tie with the uh, driftwood color. I'm going to do that. You get a nice flat brush though. You don't want a you don't want a pouncy brush for that one. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to start painting the face. All right, I'm painting the eyes and the mouth first. I have a, I think it's a number three round here. Because I have to get into corners and things. Okay, the eyes are base coated. Now I'm going to do the mouth with the black also. When you draw the mouth, make sure that there's enough room for teeth. Now I'm going to paint the, uh, the cheeks. You like to paint them the way that whatever's farthest back on the face, which would be the eyes. And then, since the nose would be coming out farther than the, the muff, then you paint the nose last. So, And the mouth is tucked under, so you paint in layers. Okay, I might have to put another coat on the face, but I'm... For right now, I'm just gonna let it dry and see what happens. Now I'm gonna do the eyes with the white. Okay. Okay. I'll let that dry for a second because we'll need a second coat. Okay, now I'm going to put the pupils of the eyes in. I'm going to paint the nose blush pink. All right. You don't have to paint a heart if you don't want to. You can just make a straight line across. Okay, I'll have to Put another coat on that in a minute. But right now I'm going to do the eyebrows and the eyelashes. I'm going to do them black. Make the uh, paint ink-like. And I'm going to do them away from you so that I don't goof them up. 
There's one. Two. They came out all right. Now I'm going to do the eyelashes again with the ink like paint. side. Uh. There you go. I'm going to put the twinkle in their eyes, in his eyes. Two dots. One. Two. There we go. Okay. Cutting the pad of the foot. I have the template that I use for the foot in front of me. It's a little bit wide. I'm setting this on the foot template so I can see how it looks. Okay, perfect. Now, I don't need to show you that because you'll see it when it's on the foot of the bunny. You're still going to want to flip it over when you when you draw it on, even though it's it looks it's, it looks to be the same, you know, like a symmetrical, but it's probably not. So after you get the foot drawn on the pad, then flip the flip it over and draw it on the other side. Okay, now I'll flip it. Try to get it in the same spot on this foot as that foot. Okay. All right, there we go here. Missed some of it when I was going around. This one I can still see a little bit of the pencil. And this, okay. So here you go. The feet have the pads on. We're gonna paint those white. I'm going to uh, use a number four flat. And just paint them. It does not look like there's going to be room for an Easter basket on this bunny. I'm hoping I can put some flowers in his hand or something. Okay, the face is all painted in. I still have to do the line work and the shading. And I'm gonna I'm going to paint the bow tie and put a couple more coats of white on the feet, and then I'll be ready to line and shade. I think I'm gonna use lavender so that there's a good contrast between the bunny and the bow tie. Okay. I 
think that'll be good. That'll be lovely. That's a very Easter looking color. Now I'm going to put another coat on the feet while that bow tie dries and I'll just go back and forth between the two until they're both painted a solid color. Okay, I drew the tail on, the big puffy cotton ball, but shaped like a flower, five petal flower. Okay, now I'm going to start to line. We'll be lining the arms, the feet, the bow tie, the muff, the nose, and the pads. We will not be lining the puffy, fluffy stomach. So, let's get started. Okay, make your, your ink really thin. You're probably not gonna see much of this because I am going to have it facing toward me. I'll turn it around once in a while so you can see what I'm doing. Ugh. Okay, I got the bow tie lined. I'm going to put the little squiggle marks in it because I'm not going to make it into a I'm just going to go like this. Just a second, I'll show you. See what I did? I like to start in the middle when I do that so that I don't have a, an odd an odd placement for the lines. Okay, it's going to need some touching up, of course. I'm not going to touch up until I'm done lining everything. Okay, everything is lined. I didn't finish the tail yet because it needs another coat of white. Everything is lined, and I'm going to uh, shade it now. Shade the arms and the feet with graphite. I'm going to shade the white parts, the, the muff and the, the pads of the feet. I'm going to shade those with driftwood. So I'm going to get started and I'll be back. His face is shaded and his pads of his feet are shaded. Now I'm going to put some dip dots, little whisker dots, on that uh, face. I'm going to use a toothpick. I'm going to th put three dots, just like I did for the last, see, for the last Easter Bunny. Three dots on that one. Try to place them in the same place on the other side, the same height and same whatever. Okay, there we go. Whiskers. Okay, I'm going to shade the bow tie with diazonine purple. It's really, really dark. 
It's like an eggplant color. Bow tie is done. Now I'm going to put some dip dots on the bow tie and I'm going to use lilac using the back of a brush. Dip dots. Pretty good. Do it again now. Same positions on the other side. Now I'm going to put some dots in the center. I think just three. There we go. Okay, the bow tie is done. Looks pretty good. Now, now I'm going to shade the feet. I'm using graphite. I'm dipping my brush in the water, taking the excess water out carefully, put the side of my brush in the paint, and start shading. Okay, I got the outside edges of the foot done, but I'm going to let it dry before I do around the pad. arms and the feet are, well I still have to do around the pads. I'm going to do the face first so I'm going to shade around the muff and on the outside of it and around the eyes a little bit. I almost forgot about the teeth. I'm going to paint some teeth in there. Teeth are in. Okay, I'm going to be shading the nose with red iron oxide. Tiniest, tiniest amount. Now I'm going to put a little white dot in the in the uh, on the nose. There you go. I shaded around the eyes a little bit. Okay, it's starting to look better. Now I'm going to put some dip dots on for buttons. I'm going, use, I'm going to do some big buttons. I'm going to use the end of my eraser that's never been used to erase anything. It's my dip dotter eraser. Okay, new puddle of paint. It's a nice, beautiful button. There we 
video. And when those dry, I'm going to put some little button holes in them, make them look, you know, like, like buttons. I'm going to do some jaggedy shading around the belly because there's no line. It's got to be a little bit, you know. Can you see how that looks? I am painting the insides of the ears. I'm painting them blush pink. Okay, I'm going to put some dots on the uh, buttons. I'm going to put four dots on each button. Okay. Buttons. Okay. Now I'm going to drill holes in this buddy's head to stick the ears in. It's a little scary to do this. This time I'm going to mark with a pencil because that last bunny I made it was a little bit off. And I didn't like that, but not so much that people will notice. I'm the only one that would notice it, but It blocked a little bit, the drill bit, so I'm going to have to adjust this one just a little bit, though, not much. Okay, I'm going to shade on the outside of the inner ear and then the inside. The outside I'm going to shade with graphite. Just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to shade the inside with red iron oxide. Maybe a little more on this side. Okay, there's one. The bigger the gourd is, the more details you have to put in it. Otherwise, it looks plain. Okay, now I have to put some glue because the toothpick fell out of the ears when they got out of the oven, so they have to be glued back in. Okay, 
Okay, now I have to decide which ear is which. And I also have to do, do a line, a, a twink, a, what you call it, line, a highlight line. getting there. I haven't painted the backs of these ears yet. I'm going to paint them when they get on the when they get on the gourd. Okay now this is going to be the right ear and this is going to be the left ear. I like to highlight them on the outside edges. So here we go. The bunny. I am going to also break these because they're too long. I don't know if they're too long, if they'll fit or not, but we don't need that much. Okay, now. Here we go. Gotta get the glue off the back that's oozing out. Get in there. Okay. Huh. That ear doesn't fit. Okay. Put a different angle on the on the hole so that it would let the ear bend a little. There we go. Perfect. Okay, there we have it. The bunny is done. Let me get this glue off the back of it. Oh, it's not done yet. I have to paint the back of the ears, which I will do right now. I forgot to put blush on the bunny, so I'm going to do that right now. So here's the bunny, all done. Shaded, lined, fluffy tail on the back. I put some extra shading marks on the tail so it looks like it has some dimension. I think it came out pretty good. Well, thank you so much for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you get notified of future videos. Bye-bye now.